Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we will look at how to send emails using Excel spreadsheet data through Microsoft Outlook client. Let me open my Outlook along with Excel file which has our VBA macro. So here's the sample file I have. I'm going to press Alt F11 to access the VBA screen. We already have a bare minimum structure of VBA code needed to generate emails through Outlook. So let's run it. So I'm going to press in the window in the Outlook section and I'm going to press F5 to run the macro. And we see that we have generated an email with dummy data. So let's close this. Now what we want to do is generate this email using Excel data in our customer balance Excel file, which is right here. We have serial column, customer name, customer email, amount due and file location. Let's go back to our macro. So we have some general declaration above. So we are going to declare variable as such, which will store a worksheet. So we will equal this to active worksheet. We'll set out app, that will be object data type. This will create an Outlook instance so we can interact with Outlook. Then we will instantiate an Outmail object which creates a new mail item message in the currently learning instance of Microsoft Outlook. Alright, so here we are using a with construct which not only makes your code cleaner but also makes it run faster. It removes the need for repeating your lines so we just say with Outmail and all of the actions we need to do with it we just say dot and then we do the action. Alright, so let's start modifying our code as per our Excel spreadsheet. To access the current row location, let's use AR as our variable to store active row. We already have AR declared as integer. I'm going to say AR equals active cell. So what this is going to do is this will store row number of active cell as an integer. Now let's start modifying the to CC and email body. We already have the active row. We can use cells function to access specific values. Cells function accepts row and column values as integers. Our email is in column C. So this is our third column. The value for third column will be, we can just say self AR, which stands for active row. So the row number is stored in AR. Column number, we are going to hard code it for now, which will be three. We are going to hard code the CC option for now. So let's type in this email address here and let's run our code again to see if our changes have been reflected. We can see that the email address is being picked up from the active row, which is Leon Souvenirs, which is correct here. And the CC is the one that we hard coded in the email. So let me close this. Go back. All right. Let's keep moving. Now to make things more dynamic, let's define four variables to store values for four different headers. What we are doing is we are using active row and then we are defining the column numbers. So serial number is column one. Customer name is column two. And we have email in column three and amount due and file location in column four and five. I'm going to add file location as well here. So I'm going to say file loc equals cells ar5 okay let's keep moving so let's replace email to so i'm gonna say customer email cc will remain as it is we can also modify our subject to include customer name so we are gonna say and customer name so with these changes let's test it again and sure enough we can see that we have the same email id for the active row we have the cc our customer name is a bit jumbled up. So what we're going to do is we can add a colon here, space, colon, space, and this should be fine for next time. Now we can get fancier and format our email body as well. You can use HTML tags to format the email body. Chat GPT or Stack Overflow can help with creating your email body this way. I have it pre-made as it takes a lot of time. So I will just copy and paste. So all of this information will go in a new variable that will be string body. We will also need to modify this HTML dot body. This will now be string body and dot HTML body. All right, so let's test our email again. I'm going to just move the row for now to somewhere else. So let's say this row, just to see if our dynamic data is working. And sure enough, you can see that we have our information and we have our formatting as well. So we've made this bold, we made this bold. We added few new lines here. Our colon has been fixed for customer name. Your name is bold plus italic as we want it. All right, so we can also add attachments to email. We are going to say dot attachments and file lock is where we are saving the file location. So let's run this again. And sure enough, we have the file that we stored here. That is test invoice. So I'm going to close it. Now, since you may want to keep track of it when an email was sent, you can input today's date in a new column for reference. So let's say once the code is done, after the end width, before the code completes, we can say cells AR column 6 top value equals 
email sent on and then we can say now which is the now function equivalent of VBA we can see that this cell right here is empty so as soon as we generate and send the email this column has now filled in the value email sent on this date and time that could be useful in tracking the information going forward all right so that's it for this video i hope you like the content if you do please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you next time